Another? A rum flip this time. And where'd I find fresh eggs in this wretched town? There's little else but piss and insects. Aye, we're working on that. Mm -hmm. Dear lady, what do they call you? And when mm. they're sober, a jilt when they're sauced. But never, lady. <laughs> well, good Leanne. I, I, uh, oh, oh, oh. Back of shite! Do you hear me? It's a back of bloody shite! It's a ruse to keep us off before they attack Nassau. You'll see, mark me. It's no ruse, Fiend. I heard it straight from the mouth of a greasy Bermudan captain. There's a pardon on offer for any pirate that wants it. Ruse or no, I think it's plain the British may return to Nassau with arms, no doubt. We'll need a plan. Walk with us, can we? There's trouble brewing. In the absence of any clear ideas, I say we lay low. No piracies and no violence. Do nothing to ruffle the king's feathers for now. Preserving the king's plumage is no concern of mine, then. It will be when he sends his soldiers to scrub this island clean of our residue. Look around you, man. Is this cesspool worth dying for? Aye! It's our republic! Our idea! A free land for free men, remember? So maybe it's filthy to look at. But ain't it still an idea worth fighting for? I can't be sure. But when I look on the fruits of our years of labor, all I see is sickness, worries, idleness, over, idiocy. Not a sunbeam of difference me. between here and London, then, eh? Well, that is right, man. Taking a wide view, they're not doing so bad out here. The sun, rum, and leisure as far as the eye can see. Oi, Nassau may look fine from a distance, but at its core, there's a disease I cannot stomach. Well, sickness can be cured, Ben. If only you have the right medicine. But a corpse cannot be reanimated. I can't believe the shite I'm hearing drop from your lips. Why not take the pardon now and be done with it? Peace, both of you. We can satisfy both aims if we work together. Find medicines to ease our burdens here, but in a way that don't attract the British. I wager the nearest doctor is sitting pretty in Havana. Not a place I mean to go. But the Spanish fleet that sunk two years back would have some medicine. All sealed up in glass vials. You'd need a diving bell to reach those depths. Aye, and with some coin and a few supplies, a diving bell won't be hard to come by. This is a plan I can stand behind. Find medicines without stirring up trouble. Breathe, Thatch. Agreed. Aye. I'll meet you near the wrecks as soon as you're able, can we? Remember, Thatch! Keep your cannons, Court! Piss off, Ben!
to lay off the wee heavy. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You require my services? Business well concluded. Let's 
get moving! Aloft, lads! Check those royals! Devil in his hole, Thatch. This is a darling galley. Thirty-two guns, is it? I lost count at forty. You've stepped up a rung. So, any luck finding medicines here? Nothing round this spot, sadly. But there's a few wrecks yonder that ain't been scoured by nothing but crabs and coral. I'll have a look. Edward? Edward, is that you? My goodness, the West Indies is a compact place. Hello, Bonnet. A surprise seeing you out here? I met Mr. Thatcher a month or so ago, and he offered to take me under his yard arms, so to speak. Says I must wash the hayseed from my hair before I'm a true pirate. Well, good luck to you, then. Worst men have become better under Blackbeard's watch.
I found one crate hidden beneath a school of sharks. Sadly, the elixir inside is quite spoilt. Plague and Ugh. perish. Will we steal medicines now? Remember the pardon, Thatch. We're to be subtle. Says Ornigold, a pirate, now too proud to call himself one. Now he prefers caution to cannons. Caution's nothing without charisma. Or if a man plays the fool, then it's only fools he'll persuade, but appear to be the devil. And all men will submit. And would you be the devil? Find a quiet way to acquire medicines. Tell me soon. Otherwise, I'll handle it myself. What's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Opened fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. Who's top two? 
Royals, gallants and royals! Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Starboard, Captain. Last. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold in this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best cause for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. If we found the observatory, We'd see enough money to buy the whole of England. Or it might be, we'd lord over these kings and emperors like they was peasants themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for? Yes, sir. I mean the best for these men, Ade. I do. But this don't sit right. I feel like I'm running errands, not living my life. Day. See that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing into hell! Down's all but me! Swim us off the wind! Who's to catch the wind? Loose the mains, half sail! Down's all sail! Pull! Pull all sail! You hear the news? Thatch is overwhelmed. Going ashore. I'll keep the jack door circling. Hang in there, bullet. Keep your arms up and your back to the sea. All your boat learning! Prepare your up a nest of trouble, that In service of a noble cause! Oh. Medicines, I hope you mean. Oh, Scotty and me, And if we crack these lobsters quick, we might catch up for us.
Uh, gentlemen, our galleon has reappeared. Heads up. Back to my ship. Back as you please. She'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much. I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is clear. But for now, I need a helmsman. Call it out. Loose the mains! And head straight for that bloody ship. We'll have our medicines at little time at all. Shite. You'll be hanged and sun-dried just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. Hello! Victorious! I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. Captain, move! Ship coming after us, sir! 
flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best, I think. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward! Your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good borrow to you. Disinterest in your well being. Hostages for my sins! These were my only terms! Yeah. Six days of pure fucking sight. So I must conclude that you men are the pariahs of Charlestown, and I would profit better by using your organs for chum and your bones for char. My oh Christ! This is my predicament. To kill you, or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. This is the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. Loose the stuff. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been out for eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. 
thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! As she goes, Captain. They're getting away, Captain. Then I'll have to go on without her. I'll be back with the medicines. Aye, sir. Another time, mate. Bit of a hurry. <laughs> 
Until you showed up. Go on then. Captain's waiting. Almost there. Good. Captain White is not a patient man. And you know how? Yeah! Oh, Christ! He took him! He took him! I told you! Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something. Didn't I tell you? Oh, God. Let's just get out of here. Change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. your accidents. What's the word from the harbour, soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. Plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion!
Oh God! Oh God, save me! And flay all you devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two grates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Ah, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rags? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, Dad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself Captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> I hope we're not late. No, you can go right... Hi, Melania, so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control. I'll update your communicator. Ah, oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. 
Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works, hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. L looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Assassins, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about this shareholders meeting, though. How about you break into Olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule? Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I own you! <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. to Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home.
sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Too long. Oh, come on. It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray. It's our old friend. Hey there. I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? Uh -huh. You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. 
We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> really living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would... Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The king wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Oh. Rack of vain. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should win every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects the weakness in our bearings. I am a goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decision. Keep that clear. Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
Ah! Uh, we will uh, hereby promise and declare that in case any of the said pirates shall on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord 1718, surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state, Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the seas, Every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious party of and for such his or their piracy or piracies. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing, and we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea and all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dollars! You get back here! Stop it! Clear shot. You really think they won't catch you? Ah. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vay. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folks-headed fuddlers, See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink.
Have a word, chump. Cut him. Cut him off. Oh, he's mine. I have a clear shot. Two times. Oh. You can't escape that. think on how many times I've put up with Horny Gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. If you brewed a plan, I might get a taste of. NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You ain't a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. Stop. Oh, 
overjoyed by what Hold a moment, Squire. Yeah. Alert! Alert! Got him sighted. He's got a good line on him. Hey! 
Hold a moment, Squire. What a joke, you valiant man! You, stop! Get back here! He's legging it! He thinks he can get away! You there! Your life's a man! Put a line on him! You got a shot! <laughs> Shit! Time to fight! Why always me? Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Shh. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's by the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bar those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you.
between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? The Commodore don't think much as a thing is. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite or war. That he's a Catholic.
Remember our object, lad. We're here to punch holes in every goddamn iron ship anchored in the northern harbor. You doubt the honor of our cause here, and if my disavowal of our coward governor's wishes causes you anxiety, then you are free to depart my vessel and stay ashore. Tumble up there, men! Tumble up all! Prepare to lose the topsails! That's right! Lay aloft, quick as you please! Ready to loose the topsails on my signal! Already forward? Wait for my signal, please! The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis clouded your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant. You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen, Governor Rogers... I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. The Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. We've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout! 
You sat on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Lay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're gonna have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. Captain, keep it afloat. Every last scrap of duck on the wing. Captain. Brits are on to us. Look there. Do you hear the news? Crowd on every inch of sail.
mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burning of your ass, governor! Prancing about like they took a prize. Kid, you missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. <sighs> Vane's off to see him now, and I'm following soon. This is what's left of your experiment in democracy. Aye. We do as we please here, and we take our time doing it. For Christ's sake, Edward, don't anything but the stink of riches wrinkle your nose. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi! I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. 